Anapai Minia my twin brother Peter Banfo Kwa Kupita I will come and say I'm in the ADM Kubo. And we'll be an ambitious man, but we can't. But we can the best say it's been can. But I will have for a reason. And what's the reason? There was a release on the 29th of May from the Speaker's office. I'll read a bit of it and then I'll come to him to explain further. What triggered the conversation we are about having? Maiden Speaker's Seminar Lecture Series. It was the Parliament of Ghana under the leadership of Right Honorable Aban S.K. Babin will on Tuesday, May 31st, host the maiden edition of the Speaker's Seminar Lecture. It is under the theme Parliament, its business, and the Supreme Court in perspe perspective. The lecture seeks to uh, stimulate public debate on the concept of separation of powers in the light of the Supreme Court decision in the Justice of the Life uh, Attorney versus Attorney General case and the applicability of the political question doctrine in Ghana's jurisprudence. The event will afford key stakeholders and citizens the opportunity to reflect on how Parliament as an institution can navigate these challenges in the current context of a hung Parliament by, becoming, by coming up with key recommendations for consideration and implementation. Minia, Peter Banfo, El Menchena, Anapai, Menino, Edi, and Komakoku. Good morning. Good morning, Kwame. I know what to do. I'm not a movie in the world, sorry. I'm a movie. I'm a movie. I'm a movie. I'm a movie. So, how do I address you? I address you with the Lord. No, I only mentioned your name, but. Yes, yes, but that, that, those were, those, those were additions, but how do I address you? Oh, portfolio. I'm a movie. I'm a movie. I'm a movie. Excellency. But, may I have a body? Excellency. On your back. Excellency, yeah. our. If you put my friend Excellency, now my friend Excellency and honourable and join your body. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Any man, any man, any man. Well, I'm not going to catch that. I'm not going to go through. Come now, any man, I'm not catching that. But on life, no, oh, you're short. Come and collect it. How do you show? Come and collect it. How do you show? Come and collect it. How do you show? Come and collect why are you into those times and the market say P they you know my oral cordon there's a need they go to me as a sense of me P be mindful where you're going but be mindful where you're going consistently consistently in the gag them all the time consistently in the gag them all the time say say next day I bring and bring my younger speaker no answer my life so this uh, <coughs> lecture Tell us a bit more about the lecture. What, what, what brought about this whole idea to have this lecture in the first place? Kwame, I'm going to I'm going to it for a while. I'm going to it for a while. It's been a while I came here. Mm. And uh, I do hope that I'm going to be here. I'm going to be in TTR. I'm going to parliament as an institution, Kwame, under the leadership of Professor Aaron Michael Quay. Mm. Well, yeah, strategic document be a over guide the parliament within the short to medium term. Miss Mentia, what year the document in your day? If you yourself an a in people are talking about inclusivity, mm. people are talking about a more participatory approach to governance, people are talking about the need to have. A system where there will be a dialogue all the time. Maybe my American mean him there to myself. Now I have a patch. Chede no be here day. Brano brano from time to time. Mam for now, what were busy parliamentarians and other minister the president and I you know, there must be that system of accountability. Now the corporate strategic plan here in America has six different goals, eight different strategic objectives. No, my friend, strategic initiatives, and there are quite a number of them, 64 or so of them. Cardinal amongst these, Kwame, on your day, parliament, no any citizens, no any media, no any civil society, be engaged from time to time. Mm. One of the rarest phenomena we've had, Kwamina, is this current hunk parliament that we have. Mm. 
Yeah. Mind you, we have not had any system like that <laughs> before. I mean, we've <laughs> never had, you know, um, a parliament where you have 137 members for NDC, 137 members for NPP, and mm. then one independent candidate. The even striking thing, Kwamina, about them numbers here, Mark and Wasemi, on your day, if you both sides of the house, you have 20 female MPs on both sides, 20 mm. NDC, 20 NPP, and I'm sure that you have averted your minds to that. Mm. That speaks to the uniqueness of them current parliamentary architecture now year one. Mm. Now, from January 2021 20, through to now, if you had the level of citizen engagement as far as parliament as an institution is concerned now, mm. It means that we've had an exponential leap. In Miss Mount Crawford, we are very interested in what goes on in Parliament. Actually, back in the days, it didn't used to be like that. I mean, me we yani we 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 yani de watu aba yatu abe wia. But in Kebbi, we we na chede on next next four years. Mm -hmm. But now, actually, people are more interested in what goes on in Parliament, and I think that is very positive because globally, the globally accepted norm is that. The inclusivity and the participatory approach to governance. I think that's 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 very cardinal. Mm. I'm extremely excited. The you know, people are more excited, people are more engaging now. On Cherry Bia Kwamina na lecture be the Walenyim them case you've read portions yeah. of them uh, um, them story. Lecture be the the issue of whether or not Second deputy speakers are, should be allowed to vote. I mean, this generated a whole lot of controversy. No, yeah, I mean, mm. all over the, the world. That's that we've had. We have had. We have different jurisdictions. Number one practices. But in yeah, hey, for over thirty years, I mean, we've not had deputy speakers voting. But for the first time, Yako Court, Supreme Court, is today no. Um, on your right, there's deputy speaker. On two men two the first and second deputy speaker. On two men two about. I think that that is what has generated a lot more discussion, not only at the individual level or even peer to peer level, but quite now even at the institutional levels mm. in in our homes, people are discussing. I'm not for discussing the propriety of it, mm. and I think it looks as if we don't have a coordinated, you know, format are able to me have them discuss now on to me on creative problem. Yeah. On it another right honorable speaker, Alban S. K. Bagbin. Obeying since January 2021, our corporate strategy plan now. Also there is a need for us to build on it. Build on what the predecessor started. Inti this very event here, up here the oil in the year in the is just a continuation and the affirmation of the belief. The new be here, the brano brano. Umana is school for wo wo school. A jumaya fo, a jedi fo, a teacher fo, a nurse fo, a lawyer fo. You know, young parliament and oh yeah, it has everybody. Every background, you know, is in Parliament. Indeed, we need again to bring all these people together. Then this is the maiden edition of them seminar lecture here, right, Honourable Speaker, Oziri Bay. Indeed, this is the maiden edition, and the first for the first time we're discussing how Parliament as an institution, particularly if you look at the reason this matter went to court, has to do with Miss Ma Parliament internally. And when Ankasa problems ba, what more handle? It didn't generate chaos back in the days. But now, because of the unique nature of parliament, you've noticed the kind of acrimony that, is, that characterizes you know, the business of the house from time to time. Mm. But I think that one of the ways I able to reduce the level of acrimony is, is that you able to, from time to time, the dialogue will be expanded. Now, now. I am looking at the whole idea, beautiful idea. Right. I'm looking at Moshe, one of our targets one, because they can market women, they can 
you said they are, there's a full representation of the in absolutely. parliament. But if this is to make parliament attractive to them, you may say, okay, the men who are in favor of Kasawasi, men who are in favor of no ma me a oti goma ibi obo show facebook mo obo kan bo fa ke se obo kan technologies na jargon so obo use obo ta sa kwa me i can assure you that one of the things i yeah in here near the use of them technologies no no mo nyi jargon no but i but there's provision that has been made mm. for anwana want and of course that's why one of the one of the things we considered mm on any the important or the critical role the media will have to play in this whole exercise many of them american editors are in t on your bro for full radio stations in kutini yadariba we are bringing the local stations as well miss mobile more cordon people who may perhaps may not be fortunate enough to be able to speak queen's english miss my our work with the Mm -hmm. you know can also get to understand and appreciate what is going on in as a package nobody is going it is a holistic thing we're going to do mm -hmm. nobody is going to be left out on, on, on the matter of the supreme court and its ruling mm -hmm. and the attempt to sync the ruling with the internal happenings in parliament and you know in a constitution of the legislature you are independent. Your decisions are yours. Your actions are yours. Executive, we are independent. Your decisions, your actions are yours. But to check and ensure accountability and the proper disbursement of Yen Sika Seminti, as a parliament, have some checks on the executive. But the judiciary, you're on your own. As much as approval for one Sika the parliament, no, but why are you in the wage man? So if an independent body, or man ruling, and it be feel it, they, oh, the ruling does not sit well, uh, really, does it matter that we have a conversation about how it situates into how parliament runs? Of course, Kwame, and, and again, um, judiciary, well, they are not on their own. I mm. think that you have alluded to the fact that the apart from parliament approving the budget and all of that, I think that one of the things they do mm. is also to vet nominees for um, um, you know, judicial positions. I, I'm, and so I'm talking post-vetting. So, 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 I mean, the, the checks are there, and from time to time, we do have these checks read their 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 faces from time to time. But baby, and you are able to court. Oba kade courts, we are ruling. Court, I'm a ruling. They are anti. They are not even True. I, I, that's my my True. Because they were ruling now, our man. I told you that actually the unique nature of the parliament here, here we are. It has generated a lot of discussion. Mm. And, and people have their lenses more focused on my and war chamber since here than before. <laughs> and so, if at the end of the day, and from time to time, coming now. You know, the expectations of Ghanaians are very high. Be what we are, be what we are, what's the main piyama? Into what pass it, baby? You know, ah, check the main piyano, can't hold them. If you are not very careful, but when the constituents are, you know, saying all kinds of things, raising all kinds of accusations, left, right, center. I mean, you have on yes, once, on yes, once, twice. Ah, ente, there was this side of the house you know, are not happy with certain things the speaker has done. This side of the house is also not happy with certain things the speaker has done and so on and so forth. See, the whole idea of them event is to situate the conversation properly. All right. We have three minutes to run up our conversation. Right. One, speakers. Two, where it's happening. Kwame, in the Jumeji, Orobado or Accra International Conference Center. Um, the speakers were carefully selected, carefully chosen. Mayim uh, de Enyim Professor Ernest Kofi Abochi, one of the celebrated uh, uh, legal luminaries we have in this country, only mm -hmm. the main speaker. And he is going to be exploring the next, the next or no, what between judiciary and, and the legislature, and then explore ways, of course, ah, these 
arms can actually operate, carrying the citizens along. So that at the end of the day, the actions or inactions of each side or either side of the arm of government doesn't generate unnecessary hatred mm -hmm. for themselves by, from, from the citizenry. And the, one of the main speakers, Onenye Professor Kofi Abuchi, we have three other discussions coming up. Okay. Um, the first one uh, is uh, Tadios Sori, Minyimde Yimna, he's the a managing Former partner, easy. actually. At, uh, yeah. uh, and then we have Clara Kasati. Mm. Uh, Clara Kasati, currently, Minyimde Kasi, or your lecturer at the University of Ghana, uh, law school, uh, another law faculty. And now, uh, you were Dr. Emmanuel Akwete. Dr. Emmanuel Akwete, you have, you have been a part of his advocacy all these years, Obano, governance, you know, and, and all of that. So we have carefully selected these speakers to come and assist the discussion. Mind you, on your day, you have a or your discussion. Our Ekebi. At the end of the day, how do we get the machinery of parliament to operate, making sure that the citizens now, what to are busy constituted them parliament, and are also part. We don't leave anybody behind. Most importantly, the work of civil society organization. Most importantly, the work of media personnel like you and I, and and how all of this must feed into the overall goal of making parliament a lot more representative than we used to have. Inti, it's, it's, it's going to be a great program, I can assure you. And if you look at the speakers, as I have already indicated now, uh, we are looking forward to having a very exciting conversation this afternoon. This is the first in the series we are going to have. Mm -hmm. From time to time, we're going to be having these lecture series. And the topics are going to be selected to ensure that they actually have relevance to what pertains to our present circumstance, so what pertains to our present uh, situation. To I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing your entire team. Uh, Isaac, unfortunately, all your wedding went to mama. In tea. I expect the owner and wife will go to whole night today. <laughs> you know. We'll have a great conversation that we are bringing. Yo, and then let me say thank you also for oh yeah, the opportunity. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, I'm a bisam, a bisam there. But for now, I can I'm metasa ne. Inyo. Ne bi some dem question ane. Awa Monday eh um. Monday me shata fufu. Mo ba minya wo do betna. Then we can we can approach them. Wo 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 issue. Ni cha e kachu wo program no dinti me ko off. I expect they go to my draw my attention. Then we make sure na so that I can come back and discuss uh, the relevant. Awo bro fufu na wo ekano. E bi some dem me metasa ne. Action kuti me yimla ko se de go since college. Boy pa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we will all be there uh, to learn a thing or two from Mobile Kodo Iyabri. And I invite you to be a part of the conversation this afternoon. We will all be there uh, to pick a few things from there.